One of the unique features of the Elgato Wave 3 microphone is that you can adjust the monitor mix that you're listening to on your headphones or your speakers versus the stream mix, which is outputted to everyone else on your stream or on your recording. What does this mean? Look, I know you may not be an audiophile. Let me just break it down for you really simple. So here's the Elgato Wavelink software. And right now I have my microphone as the only input in the software. This is the free software that comes with the mic. And on each individual input that you put into this digital mixer, you're going to see two settings down here at the bottom of each one. So there is the headphone icon, and then there is the sort of broadcast looking icon. These are your two different mixes that are available to you. So you can make an individual mix that's tailored to just what you wanna hear in your headphones or your speakers or whatever you're listening to your mix on. And you can make a separate mix which is your stream mix that everyone else is going to hear. So for example, if you only wanted to hear, if you didn't want to hear, let's say, uh, your own audio uh, in your own headphones, you could click to mute this headphone button right here and it would mute your audio. Notice how it just muted me there? You're listening to my monitor mix, okay? And if you wanted to increase or decrease your volume, of how loud you are in your own headphones, you could just use the monitor mix volume adjustment. As you can see, I'm increasing that and I'm decreasing that here and it changes only in your headphones, only in the monitor mix. And if you wanted to separately mix the audio that everyone else is hearing for that particular channel, you would go to the stream mix channel and adjust that up and down accordingly. So let's say for example, you're playing video games, just as an example, and you wanna hear the game audio much louder in your headphones versus your microphone, you can easily use the mixing functions here in the Wavelink software to adjust how loud it is in your monitor mix versus how loud it is in your stream mix. But wait, there's more. So as you can see down here at the bottom, you've got two different outputs that are happening, and this is one of the most powerful things about the Wavelink software two separate mixes and you can determine where those mixer mixes go in terms of how they're routed on your computer so for example right now my monitor mix which is what you're listening to is routed to my speaker output you can drop this menu down and you can have your monitor mix go to any output on your computer. So I could send it to uh, my capture card in this example. I could send it to the headphone jack on my microphone. I could even send it to the speakers, which is what I'm currently doing. You can choose where that monitor mix goes, independent of the stream mix that everyone else is listening to. Pretty cool, right? And then the stream mix output, as you can see, is locked and loaded as a specific stream mix itself, a digital output. This stream mix is unique because it will mix together all of the inputs that you have that you add here in this mixer. As you add additional inputs into the mixer here, it will mix all of these together into one master mix that you can select and output to anything, anywhere, Skype, OBS, Streamlabs OBS, Microsoft Teams, you name it, that's gonna be your master mix that everyone else is going to hear. There's a few other items that you should check out as well on this mixer platform. You see the little ears over here? You can choose by making the ear green which thing you're listening to. So if I switch to the stream mix, I would then hear the stream mix instead of the monitor mix and vice versa going back to the other one. You probably heard a little bit of a difference in my audio when I switched between those two. You see how my stream mix is significantly louder with the volume levels here than my monitor mix. So when I switched over to stream mix versus monitor mix, you probably just heard a volume increase when I changed which one I was monitoring with the ear right here, okay? So be mindful of that when you choose which one you're monitoring, because it could drastically change the volume levels and obviously the mix. So be very careful clicking on these. It could blow out your headphones or be distracting or be disorienting for you in the process. You can also manually adjust the volume levels of each mix. This is the entire mix that's being outputted manually. Everything in that particular mix getting adjusted here with these volume levels. it will mute as you could just saw, it will mute you. You can mute that entire mix manually right here at the click of a button. So that will mute literally every input in your entire mixer. 
that has the headphone jack enabled on it in your entire mixer here within Wavelink. Super powerful. And this is really the best feature, in my opinion, about the Elgato Wave series of microphones. The mic sounds great, obviously. But one of the most powerful features is being able to split up your mix in terms of what you hear versus what everyone else hears, giving you essentially mix minus capabilities. That's what professional audio engineers have for live shows. It just makes it so much better if you're trying to perform live and have that mix be perfect in your in-ear monitor, essentially. Enjoy playing with these two items, and I'll teach you in separate videos on how to plug in your stream mix, for example, into broadcasting software, etc.